Hey guys, it's Serena and uh, today I wanted to talk to you guys about my senior dog adoption experience. Hi Harvey. He likes ear rubs. He likes the ear rubs. He jumps up on me. Hi. Because he likes hugs. He likes hugs. He jumps on my chest. Yep. Because he wants a back massage. Look. <laughs> I feel like adopting senior pets isn't that normalized. Everyone wants to get a new dog and now I feel like as a, as a society, we're slowly starting to stray away from shopping and trying to purchase dogs and now adopting dogs. But I feel like we're still behind the bar on caring for these senior animals. Because a lot of people don't want them. A lot of the senior pets have health issues or they're not gonna live for that long and a lot of people don't want to deal with that which is understandable but that doesn't take away from the fact that these dogs are animals too and they deserve a home just like any other young puppy they don't deserve to be looked any differently you just have to approach it different so the one that you just saw that jumped up on my chest his name is Arby he is 11 years old and the other one is 10 years old this is princess in the middle of a pandemic right now um they haven't been to the groomer since january <laughs> so they're definitely in need of that but i have been giving them more baths just to keep them clean they're both cocker spaniels but princess is an american cocker spaniel and arby is an english cocker spaniel adopted them on, on april 1st 2019 tell you about how i found these dogs if you guys are familiar with the show impractical jokers joe gatto on that show loves adopting senior dogs or just or i don't know specifically senior dogs i know some of them are senior but i know he loves to adopt and he's all for that and he always advertised this instagram page called Susie's senior dogs and now this page is a nonprofit organization and they basically just advertise all over the country dogs all senior animals that are in need of a home kind of follow this page because i love the idea of it and i wanted to see if there was any small dogs in, in the area in new jersey new york area i thought i would adopt so soon as i did but everything happens for a reason and i am so happy with these puppies in my life i came across princess and arby they were from new york and their story was they are previous owner, their original owner, got too ill to take care of them, but they're a bonded pair. The organization that they were part of was New York and why. Really was rooting for them to stick together since they were a bonded pair, they grew up together and they didn't want to separate them. Which makes it a little bit harder to find not not only a home for one senior dog but for two. Found the post, this post of them on, on Susie Senior Dogs. And this post, remember that Susie Senior Dogs, they're just a nonprofit organization. They're advertising for the organizations that are actually taking care of these dogs. Paws and Why, which is a beautiful organization, their mission is to help seniors and or people with disabilities and their pets to keep them together which is such a sweet idea because there's so many people in New York who are elderly people or people with disabilities who don't have backyards to let their dogs out in the backyard that they need to walk their dogs. Volunteers come in and they help them out with their animals because they understand the importance of a pet and human bond is to a lot of people. It's all charity-based, volunteer-based, which I love. We're in the care of Paws and Why and a volunteer was fostering them at the time. And then another volunteer fostered them, so they went from one foster home to another foster home because they were really having a hard time trying to find people to want to adopt these both beautiful dogs. So how the process went was I sued these senior dogs and then also they had a link to go onto the Paws and Why Instagram page. They had a whole description of the dogs and everything. And then at the bottom they tell you how far they're willing to go and travel for you to get these dogs and then the application process. So on um, Susie Senior Dogs at the bottom of it, it says we'll adopt anywhere within three to four hours of New York City and the potential adopter has to fill out an application and include three references. So I'm only an, an hour away from the city and the application process was super easy. Me and my boyfriend at the time saw these dogs and 
felt compelled for some reason to fill out an ap application and go and adopt these these beautiful puppies. Um, we sent out the application. We asked a couple friends for references. We sent it out, and it was actually a really quick process. I think we sent out the application and then made a couple phone calls. Then a few days, they got back to us and told us we got the dogs. My boyfriend at the time had to drive to the current foster family. And Paul's and Why is a great organization because while the whole time that Arby and Princess were being fostered, um, their health stuff was being taken care of. They were brought to a pet hospital and they were given all these exams and they were up to date on shots. They were diagnosed with whatever so then the future owners, which is us, know exactly how to take care of these dogs. Like Princess needs to take eye drops every day. Um, Arby has psoriasis so we need to give him a special shampoo when we give him baths. It's a family that we picked them up from. Also very nice caring people. Um, they still text, text us to this day asking how the dogs are. That's a whole printed out list of the dog's schedule, what time they eat, what time they need to go out, how much water they drink, how much they eat, um, what triggers Arby, and how to work with him. A thing about senior dogs is they were basically raised by someone else and you don't really know their background. I don't know anything about how Princess and Arby grew up besides the fact that they lived in the city. There's a lot of things that trigger Arby, like putting on his ja his rain jacket or any type of clothing. He doesn't like being picked up. He has a sensitive stomach, so you can't touch it really hard or else he gets triggered. He doesn't like strangers, which is tough because if I have guests over, he's weary of them even if he saw them a few times. He's only really close with people that he lives with. This requires a lot of patience. I have a previous house dog that my mom bought back in 08. This dog was raised completely different than Arby and Princess and a lot of people think that we can treat them the same and you really can't. You need to go about it at different routes. How we treat Oreo, my original house dog, is way different than how I have to treat Arby and Princess. Their schedule is way different. Um, because that's their schedule. That's what they. That's what they're used to. Why am I gonna switch it up and mess up their whole thing? I first got Arby. He did try to nip at us. That's just their learning process. You really can't punish him for that. If you don't have patience and you're not willing to work with them, adopting senior dogs isn't for you. But if you have a big heart and patience and you're willing to work with them. Arby is a sweetheart now. He hasn't nipped me or anything in, I don't even know, since October. And that's because I tried to put a Halloween costume on him and I knew he doesn't like clothes, but I was hoping so bad that he would let me put the Halloween costume on him and he nipped me in, on my wrist. Um, but that's my fault. I knew it, it was something that triggered him and I tried to do it anyway. So, you know, stuff like that, you gotta learn. And Princess, on the other hand, is literally a sweetheart. She can, you can pick her up, she'll let you do anything that she wants. She's never tried to bite anyone. The only thing is, she's really needy, and you need to be home with her a lot, or else she starts to bark. And she just likes to see you. She likes to see Arby. She doesn't like to be alone. So, um, it's really important to for me not to leave these dogs for a long period of time. Yeah, it's a tough thought to know that I don't have a lot of time with them, but it's also warming in my heart and to know that I'm giving them a nice home to live out their golden years. Also, a good thing about adopting senior dogs is these dogs were already trained. Dogs versus younger puppies where you have to train them and senior dogs are already trained, which is good. Sleepy little. These dogs are my babies. I don't regret them at all. I love them with all my heart. It is a lot of work and patience and responsibility. I like two little babies. I need them just like they need me and I love them so much. I hope 
that you, whoever is watching this, if you're looking to adopt, to really consider adopting senior dogs. They're much more low maintenance than puppies because they're not, you know, they're not like running around or whatever. They literally sleep. They're the sleepiest puppies. They sleep, they eat, they need to be walked, and they love to cuddle. Just show them love and patience. They'll show you so much love back. If you live in the New York, New Jersey, Connecticut area, Pennsylvania area, if you're close to New York City, I should say, um, go follow Paws and Why. They're a beautiful organization. They're always doing charity events to raise money to help these dogs and seniors in need. If you're anywhere in the country, go follow Susie Senior Dogs. They literally post pets that are in need of homes from everywhere in the country and they post where the dogs are located. Go follow them, really consider it and weigh out the pros and cons, but I really don't think you'll regret adopting a senior dog. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please um, like and subscribe to my channel. And 